My name is Reagan Petrin. I'm a coffee professional here in New York City. I currently work as the head of brand for Felix Roasting Company. I'm here to taste a whole bunch of different instant coffee and give you my opinion. Should be really fun. I think I'm gonna get really over caffeinated. One of the things I look for when I'm tasting a coffee first is the aromatics. I just wanna see if they're there, if they're strong, if they're telling me about like kind of the natural flavor profile of the coffee. After that, I wanna see a presence of like a natural sweetness, and then I'm just gonna look for the individual unique flavor characteristics, and ideally, the coffee should be balanced, it should be sweet, it should be like flavorful and aromatic. So we'll see, we're gonna jump into it. So we're gonna start with an Ethiopian coffee from Tandem Coffee Roasters. These guys are in Portland, Maine. I love the color. Some people may object to this, but I personally really enjoy when brands use color as a way to talk about flavor. Already this color is really influencing what I'm expecting to taste. So we're going to add eight to 10 ounces of water. Just kind of eyeballing this. Okay, so I'm definitely getting sort of a citrus and almost maybe like a honeydew melon or something like that. Off the bat, I think I'm really impressed with the body. It's very like velvety and kind of silky, which is really unique to me. You don't really get that with a filter coffee. It almost feels more like a really thinned out espresso than it does like a proper filtered coffee, like a like a batch brew or something like that. Definitely some subtle sweetness. I would say there's sort of an undertone of like a milk chocolate, a little bit of, again, that sort of like lemony citrus. I would say overall this is like a, this is like a seven and a half out of 10. Super easy to drink. This is good coffee. I think this stacks up against most batch brew coffees that you could get in New York City. Okay, moving on to another Ethiopian. This is from Canyon Coffee. This is the Chilinga Ethiopia. Not much on the box, but it's beautiful, so I'm excited. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm noticing a super strong, like like a candied orange mixed with like a really like rich caramel. Uh, that's pretty exciting. It's very strong, which is telling me lots of good things about this coffee already. Lots of sweetness in this one. This coffee is a little bit more developed than the previous one we tasted. I'd say we sort of lost some of the potential fruit notes, but it still has this really pleasant sort of like citrus peach vibe going on and lots of that caramel, almost brown sugar and sort of a, I wanna say like really subtle cinnamon clove. This is tasty. This is a little bit more sort of breakfast coffee. Um, still would not be mad about this in really any context. It's super tasty. I would say this is, a, this is an eight out of 10. So the way I talk about coffee is I try to be objective in terms of quality, but I also try to consider how people are actually using these products. The one to 10 scale is kind of arbitrary. We're really talking about one through 10 being um, the range of delicious instant coffees. Not everybody is a coffee snob, and that's a legitimate thing to not be. Intelligentsia, okay, this is crystallized by sudden coffee. Very interesting sounding. So, in true sudden coffee fashion, we've got these cool little vials. Uh, we can use this as a flower base, as a spice rack, or for travel vitamins when we're done with it. That's cool. Recycle your tubes, people. Off the bat, this one smells the most like coffee, coffee so far. A little bit of sort of a richer, definitely caramely, almost your classic profile of what you'd expect out of a black coffee. Definitely getting like a molasses vibe out of this. It's very smooth. It's very like well balanced. Not much acidity, but not necessarily very much like bitterness either. So it's pretty like in the middle. I'd say like a subtle sort of like citrus, maybe even like blueberry blackberry thing going on. Pretty tasty. I would say I would give this to my parents and expect them to be very excited about it. I would say this is probably a six and a half out of 10. The aromatics are pretty subdued. 
Overall, the flavor of subdued, most of what I'm tasting is kind of the way this coffee was roasted, and really nothing about it is telling me much about where this coffee came from or how it was produced, which is really what I want to know, and I think something that we look for in quality coffee. Starbucks via Instant. Very exciting. This is the Pike Place Roast. 100% Arabica, instant and micro ground coffee. I don't know what that means. I do appreciate the form factor. This is a very convenient size. Definitely getting some like dark roast vibes out of this. This is pretty, really dark caramelized sugar aroma to it. The aroma is pretty subtle. This tastes like all the things I just described. It's pretty dark. It's one of those coffees that really sits on like sort of like the deeper, darker end of the spectrum. Not really my cup of tea. Coffee. I'd say this is a five out of 10. There's nothing really going on flavor-wise that is remarkable. It's leaving sort of a bitter taste in my mouth, to be honest with you. I think this doesn't quite stack up with the rest of the, the offerings on the table. A lot of people will like this though. This is, this is the bread and butter of, I think, most of the coffee drinking world right now. Okay, moving on. So we have Swell Coffee Company, Tsunami Blend. Very exciting name. So this is a blend of several Brazilian coffees. It's meant to be sort of classic, full-bodied, sweet. Uh, this is another sudden coffee, so we've got the vial. Again, this is in that sort of classic vein, very sweet, sort of molasses. This has kind of a, like a pecan toffee vibe going on. It's a little bit nutty, which is, which is fun. Right off the bat, lots of sweetness. That's a definite plus. It's on the sort of medium dark side of the spectrum that we're looking at today. Not a lot of aromatics, not a lot of characteristics beyond sweetness and that sort of pecan nuttiness. Overall though, it's really solid. This is something that I would have with pancakes and eggs and bacon. This is, this is that coffee. It's not giving me a lot of information about where it came from or how it was produced, but it's solid. I would say this is a, this is a six and a half out of 10. Voila, this is the discovery package. So I guess there's five different coffees to choose from in here. It seems like they're all from different roasters. So we've got an Ethiopian, we have a Brazil, we have a Burundi, Guatemala, and a blend. You know what, I'm gonna do Cirque Coffee. This is the weirdo blend into that. Peanut butter, grapes, juicy, and complex. I'm into those flavor calls. These packages are a little tricky. But that's, I can live with that. <laughs> this smells like tasty coffee. So right off the bat, I'm definitely getting some of those sort of like juicy vibes that were called out on the package. Um, the grape actually definitely comes through. The body on this one is a little bit on the thinner side, which is kind of nice because it lets those flavors really like pop. I would say it's kind of got this like white grape meats I don't know, blackberry vibe. Uh, this is really tasty coffee. I would drink this in the morning. I think this gets a seven and a half out of 10. This is complex. Uh, it's very sweet, great balance. It's juicy. It really checks all the boxes. It's, it's letting me know that it was well produced. It's very clean. Lots of good stuff going on here. We have Swift Cup Coffee. This is the mainstay blend. We've got cocoa, caramel, red fruit for flavor calls. So this is a seasonal blend of African and Latin American coffees. Cute logo. First impression, uh, I do get a little bit of sort of a tropical fruit, plus maybe a little bit of an apple, and like a really sweet sugary thing coming off of the top. It's quite subtle. Definitely getting lots of sweetness from this one. Raspberry, like red apple, and then lots of like a cane sugar sweetness. It's got definite complexity. It's all very clean. The flavors are well proportioned. Um, the roast I think is spot on for this coffee. This is great. I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10. So we tasted like seven instant coffees today. Some of them were pretty 
pretty bad. Some of them were actually really delicious. Personally, I think that it's a really exciting thing. I think that specialty coffee um, needs to be more accessible, and I think this is a really beautiful way of making it accessible to a lot of people. I think the quality is definitely getting better. I think some of the things that we tasted today were surprisingly good, and I'm really excited to see where it goes in the future.